In this video, we're going to provide the solution for question number five for exam one for math 2270, in which case we're asked which of the following sets of vectors are linearly independent. Do pay attention to the language right here. If the question were asking which of the following sets of vectors are linearly dependent, that would affect my final choice. But either way, I do have to go through and check is S independent or dependent? Is TS independent or dependent? Is U independent or dependent? So let's look at choice S. Now I'm looking at choice S right here. I do notice that S contains the zero vector. Any set that contains the zero vector is automatically linearly dependent. So therefore I know set S is not independent, a dependent set. Since I'm looking for independence, I'm gonna put an X on S there. Now let's look at set T. Set T, there are two vectors. And so if a set of vectors is linearly dependent, it means one of the vectors is a linear combination of the other. Well, for two vectors, the only way one could be a combination of the other is that they're scalar multiples of each other. So could these vectors be scalar multiples? If you call this vector V for a moment, then how do you form this one? Looking at the first entry, how do you go from one to negative one? You'd have to times it by negative one. So is this equal to negative V, right? Well, you take one times negative one, that gives you a negative one. But if you take two times negative one, that should give you negative two. That doesn't quite work out here. So this tells us that these vectors are not scalar multiples of each other. And therefore, this set of vectors would be linearly dependent. A set of two vectors is only, it's only dependent if and only if one vector is a scalar multiple of the other. And that didn't happen here. Then when you look at choice U, notice that we have four vectors inside of R3. We have too many vectors. If we thought of this as a system of linear equations, then we would have three equations and four variables. We would be an underdetermined system. One of those variables would have to be a free variable. And because it's a, there's a free variable in the system, that would give you multiple solutions. That would give you non-trivial solutions to the homogeneous system. If you have too many vectors, then you are automatically linearly dependent. And so both set S and U are linearly dependent. Set T is linearly independent. And as we're looking for independent sets, that means the correct response would be choice B.